How's it going guys? Been a while? Hope everyone's doing okay today. Tonight. It's 10.40 about. So today I have a couple things that we're going to do. There's a new board that I, well, not really new. I've had it for a while, but it's a board that I'm going to be shipping to uh, Teja Types in like probably next week. But uh, back when I was in Japan, he uh, bought it. I, well, I bought it for him at a uh, keyboard shop in Japan called Yushikobo. Um, it's a very cool board. Very unique. Like, super special. Um, so I thought I'd be down to stream it to everyone tonight. So, let's see. Uh, but yeah, I am back at trying to stream again it's been a while uh being without a job right now could use a little bit of funds so thought i'd try to get back in the swing of things with streaming um i hopefully can have a we'll have a couple board builds soon i do have one that i want to build it's really cool a friend in japan gave it to me too uh it's a split alice type board so i'll be showing that off in a bit on another stream but uh let me pull out the other box that one's unique kind of big like I'm shocked at the way it came packaged so actually let me turn off my give me a second guys okay there we go that way it doesn't lose focus at the board Kind of cushions. You can see right here where it's from Yushikobo. The price. It's called a Dermag uh, uh, du, Dumang DK6. So. so, first off, it comes with keycaps, which I found that really cool. But I'm not going to be, oh, what are these plugs for? That's wild. It's two, looks like type C connectors that are both 90 degree angled ones to connect it. I think you could have one as a slave and one as a master for this board. Don't want to mess up the packaging. Don't want to ship. Thank you. Yeah, it's the... Um, it's for Jim K. Alter. I got it when I was in SoCal back in December. So... The entire board itself is that thin. Now each, the cool thing about this is each keycap, each switch is individual. And this is just a magnetic pad that you sit it on. So it works like this right now. You can have it in a ergo layout, but you can change the layout however you want. I'll leave it as ergo too. And I think it's all tight. All of it's type C. Oh, you know what's crazy? Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Are these two individual pads? I got two type C's in here. Okay, thanks for the joining back, man. So this this is wild. So there's RGB underneath it. <laughs> uh, let me get my mouse. I think, let's see, can this work for typing? Let's see. Let's 
Give me a second, guys. Yeah. Where's backspace on this? This is wild. The switches sound super weird in it, too. So it didn't come with extras, so all you get are enough for this. So if you wanted a 60, you could do a normal 60 layout and have it split. This is just a magnetic pad, it looks like. That's wild. So let me show you. Hold on. This is one switch right here. These look like they're kale box reds, yeah. But let me get my switch puller. You can switch it any way you want it. So, yeah, it's actually really cool. It's like taking hot swap to like the next level. Let's see, there's got to be a way to pop it out. I don't think these are soldered in. It's just on a sliding pad. So the bottom of these, it's just a magnetic circle. Sound wise, I mean, they're kale reds. So kale box reds, uh, is it upside down? This is crazy. So you, there is no slave. These are both individually, like have to be plugged in individually. But it's for an MX board. I... Let's look at the manual real fast. Yeah. Yeah, it comes with a switch puller. So, you can definitely take it apart. Rubber is used to clean the golden surface of the base. So it sounds like this might get dirty and that this would they would lose contact with that. Let's see. There we go. So all it is, the housing of it looks really cool, the inside. Let me get one of my inks right here. Let's pop this in. Oh, it looks like you can't have legs on your, let me get my clippers, or I'll just put a different switch in. Yeah, that's wild. Let me get a different one. I brought back a holy panda. Should just fit right in there. So if the LEDs on top, then it must be flipped.
That's wild. Man, I should have bought myself one of these when I was there. They had two different variants, but this is the only one they had for sale. And they were actually, they, they didn't have them for sale until like two days after I was going to be there. But uh, they decided to let me uh, buy it early. They were, they were fine with that. Shout out to Yushikobo for selling this to me. It's really cool. Let's pull up a uh, switch hitter and I'll test everything out for it. I don't know how you would reprogram it. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? You wouldn't need to reprogram. You just move the keys wherever you want. Oh, but would that cause issues though? No, no, I don't. Mm. So if I move one, to five and flip one and five around, then this one would be one and this one would be five. Yes, this is a, a flat, this is a giant magnet with traces on it. That's all. You can see the, the shine magnet right here. That's all these things sit on. You can flip it. So it's a Dumag modular keyboard, DK6. Created in Shenzhen, or created by Shenzhen Beyond Q Technology, made in China. It's, this reminds me, the pad it sits on reminds me of something like Apple would make. It's very clean. There's no machine marks and like the anno on it's really nice. How would you change the lighting? There's probably instructions on the inside. Yeah, different different layouts you can do. Um, let me put this back. Uh, switch hitter. Um. This one. Let's see if I minimize this. Is it what it's gonna pull up? Or switch it in. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Uh, hold on, give me a second, guys. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I've done this. There you go. So, yeah, you can, yes, exactly. You can move these magnets around so you can turn it. This one's F, oh, it even tells you when it goes FM. Look, check this out. That's actually really dope. Let me move, I'll move it right there. So check this out. What's up, Ren? I saw your message. I was like, um, I'm streaming right now. Uh, <laughs> Check out this keyboard I got. It's called a Dumag, Dumang DK6. And it's, it's fully modular. I can move the switches wherever I want on the plate. It's just one magnetic strip. Yeah, it's really weird. So, zero, backspace, that's that. Where am I? What are these keys over here? Escape, tab, lock, shift, control. Oh, that's weird. This is escape down here. And this is alt right here. So there's two escapes. Oh, and then it moves the... So if I wanted to, I could move this this one and put escape right where it's supposed to go. 
Here, this is a test, yeah. So this is still escape. What if I move it over to the other pad? Is it still escape? It's still escape. Um, this one's not mine. This one's Teha types, but um, I don't really have anything I put on it right now. Oh, that's funny. The Windows key, it says WIM, W-I-M. <laughs> Uh, ZX. Oh, I don't like that. ZX CVB. Um, where's Enter though? That's space. This is. This is all. Oh, wait. Oh, I flipped it. Uh, see, I flipped it. Oh my God, that would be a nightmare of Sam. Oh my God. So I had them flipped a minute ago. This one's space. Yeah, you can see that. Oh, it had them flipped. That's weird. I double hit it too fast. Um, one of these shift. This one's enter. See, but how'd you know this one's intern? I guess honestly, you could slide these over just a little bit. And man, this is a weird board. Yeah, the profiles are all jacked up on here too. For like this row down here. I'm shocked there hasn't been anybody else that has made a board like this. Like nobody's thought about making a board. Like in a normal case, but instead of having uh, switches, you get something like this. This is a 360 bucks. So if this is 360, I why can't you make a full board out of it? Like. I I can't see why somebody else won't hasn't made anything with it. We're charging eight hundred dollars for a custom. I think it's water resistant too. I'm not gonna test that out though. No. That's not for me to test out. Oh, I guess this is for you're not really supposed to touch the metal the contacts. But if you do, it has a rubber pad in there for you to clean it off of. Clean it with. Yeah, no, no need to reprogram. If I want to move eight to the other side, well, let's swap eight and three. I can just take my three key, my eight key, and swap them. So now, this is three over here, and this is eight. The switches it comes with aren't bad, honestly. They're not smooth, but like... They're usable. And since it, each one's is in its own housing, they're very clacky. See, I'm like typing on the same row, but it's not. D's up there. There we go. I don't like that. Oh, that's so jacked up for playing video games. You'd have to go like this. Or like League of Legends, you'd have to uh, be angled. Oh. See, but if you wanted to, you could slide all these down and make it like flat. I'm kind of leaving everything in it, the exact position it came in, uh, specifically because it'll be easier for me to mail this in the exact box. Like there's padding specifically for the way it came, so. I wonder how to change the lights. It didn't say. It's probably in the box somewhere. The FN key is, is enabled, but it doesn't seem to do anything. That's weird.
Let's unplug it. So it's type C for both. Let's go back to the Dumble Geo. Yeah, type C for both. This is the way the bottom looks. These are plastic and then the feet are rubber. It's very clean, very smooth. Has that Apple aesthetic to it, like the Magic Trackpad. So yeah, if you look closely. Yeah. But it comes with a full keycap set, like everything. It's just a cheap, shitty keycap set. But let me get the box back up here. It's, oh, let me replace one back. If a US vendor got these, I, I'd be interested in one. The only reason why uh, Teha Types asked for me to get him one was because in Japan, they had them in Japan. I also got him another prize type thing. So, uh, Gachapon prize. So, he'll see it when he sees it. These were slid up a little bit more. So this is a Dumag, Dumang DK6. It's weird to say the name. And an Ergo layout. They have another one that's in a 60 layout, but. Let's set this aside. Yeah, it's like this. It sits weird, yeah, in this box. It has like spots for the feet, yeah. Exactly right there. Like, I, I've seen boards try to be innovative. Like, there's Maglev with the new Lodestone, but, like, this is just ultra different. Let's go there. And then... These sit right here. Trying to stack these right there so I can close the box, make it flat. What's it catching on? Anything? This is the tricky part, putting it back like you just bought it. They want to sit a certain way. Be 
pass that to that. Yeah, this is Nathan's. I bought it for him in Japan. I asked him if I could review it, and he was like, yeah, sure. But I'm trying to package it like how it came so he can open it brand new too. There we go. Oh my gosh, Angel, thanks for the sub. I plan on having some more build streams. Um, I'll see if I can do some proto boards. If I can get my hands on any. This is not proto, but this one's just super unique. I don't think anybody else has reviewed it on stream before. At least not here in America. Uh, which way did this go? Yeah, Nathan knew I was going to Japan earlier in the year. And I was like, I talked to him and his friends uh, while I was there, so. A sticker. <laughs> Why not? This way. Oh, where's this way? Yeah, actually, I think this is the best way I put it back together. I think the co a couple times I tried putting it together, it didn't go back as well. So I don't think I've showed you guys this. This is GMK Night Runner. I got it in a while ago. I put it on my bower. Man, I love this board. So I have two USBs here. Uh, this one's on a extender. So if I need to, I can sw swap this for a mini USB. But I thought I'd have a cable that would match Night Runner. I just need a desk mat, then I'm all decked out for the set. You can see my shine a little bit. <laughs> Let me change the name of the stream real fast. Um... See, I have my stuff set up to uh, solder at this desk too now. I have three monitors at this desk and I love it. Thank you for everyone tuning in right now. I'm getting ready to do some they're black inks but i have these red ink stems they're the exact same stem it's just a different color so i'll be making this making these i thought i'd brought up bring out the cup because yeah i have this right here but i don't know how often i'll use it i gotta separate them right now so red one kenobi Thanks for joining. Hello there.
take it out. It should be all the same amount of stems. I did notice these housings that I have, some of the leaves fell out. So as you can tell, yeah, there's three leaves right there. So, yep. The bow is amazing. I love it. I, I don't want to ever sell this board. The typing feeling on it's amazing. I do want to rebuild the board though. Like I want to ha have different switches in it. I'm down to get some, um, what is it? Alpacas. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. So I'm looking for any inks that don't have the other leaf in it. Unfortunately, they fall out pretty easily. I'm not going to put them into the cups until they're actually lubed. And then the stems, I'll sit them out here. And then we'll lube them afterwards in a bit. Oh, the top housing that I could throw in here. For now. Uh, no, V1 inks didn't, the leaves did not fall out. It was V2s that fell out. And then, um... I don't know. I, maybe V1 inks? I, I have no idea what they're... I think these are V2s, yeah. So I'm just looking for top housings right now. I should have about 60 of these. Your V1s fell out. Yeah, I know some V1s fell out. Some of them didn't. Any good 65s that I would recommend other than Bauer? Um... Right now, the KBD 65 is pretty hot, the new one. Um, what else? I, I'm not a fan of KBD boards. They're pretty cool, but uh, I don't know. Um, 65. Space 65 is getting ready to... Or no, Think 65. Think V2 is getting ready to come out. And I know those are pretty... Looking pretty nice. They're going to be gasket mounted instead of... Um, I think the original thanks were integrated plate, which I don't, I'm not a fan of integrated plate. So key 65 is pretty good. Yeah. I almost bought one of those. I ended up backing out. My next board that I have coming in is going to be a, a Godspeed 75. So I'm hoping I can get a Bauer 75. We'll see to add to the Bauer collection. I think. That's all the top housings. Where's the... Oh, here's one. Sweet. Let's put this back together. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, that one's fixed. LZ Physics, that's gonna be nice. The LZ Physics is an Alice type board. It's, uh, I don't know what percentage you would call that. Cause it's like in between. I know the Alice was a 60, I guess you could say. Oh, this one's falling out. There we go. I pray that these aren't broken. Like the ones that I'm putting back together, I pray that they work just fine. Because I have had some that are broken and it just won't ever work. Yeah. Well, the, the LZ physics, yeah, it has arrows on it. So it would be, I guess, a 65, yeah. Come on. There we go. This one got back in. I'm trying not to crush the leaves. They're so tiny. Man. Here's the top. Have you guys been watching any cool TV shows lately? I've been on the uh, Community binge. I've been watching all of Community. I love that show. It's pretty nice.
I think once I'm done with that, I might go back and watch Avatar Last Airbender for like the fifth time. I love rewatching that show. It's such a classic. Here's the last one. Watching House. House is such a good show. There's some things I can't watch in there. I'm a little squeamish, but like not too squeamish. Oh, see, this one might just be jacked up, broken, broken. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. There we go. Yeah, I think we're good. What up, Angel? Thanks for that sub. Are you playing games in the Texas Discord right now? I know they were playing games earlier. So tonight we're going to be looping with Cristo129. Oh, where are my springs? I forgot to grab a bag of springs. <laughs> I have some over here. So let's pile these up. Oh, these are my springs. Um, I have films too. I, I, I don't know. Dark Wizard, hey. Thanks for follow, man. How's it going tonight, man? 200... Oh, hell no, Angel. Mm-mm. I ain't, I ain't never going to do 220 in one sitting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't do Anno work. I did uh, Cerakote and uh, Powder Coat stuff. Yeah. This is Powder Coated, this Bower. You can't get this color normally. And normal Bowers aren't this shiny. Thank you. I love the two colors, like the gray and the black match match so nice. And like the black works so well with Night Runner. If you look at my Instagram, I have more pics of this board um, and better lighting because the lighting in here is pretty garbage. Oh, I do have something I want to show you guys that came in finally. Because um, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I worked on GMK Ashes. And at the time I had a uh, RAL deck that was the uh, vendors row book. Uh, it wasn't mine. I, I didn't own one. I finally got one in. So let me let me grab that too. I'll, while I got the, the springs. So I used what was called a D, uh, D8 for ashes, and this is a D2. It's just a cylinder, not a cylinder, pfft, rectangle. It has this little pull-up tab, and this is all the colors for Ralph. So I thought this was really cool. Oh snap, we got a uh, GK61. I, I used to own a GK61 back in the day, but uh, I've since moved on. But you got some creams in there? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so I have this for Ashes and any other sets that I run that I need to convert to RAL or that are in RAL. Um, so I can actually see the colors in front of me instead of just online. Um, I don't do colors anymore for like boards, uh, Ridwan, but, um, if you're looking to get your board color changed, I suggest, I want to say there's going to be a couple people that are doing it. Syrup Labs does it, but, um, I would look in your area for like a Cerakote shop and see if they're willing to change the color. Cause that'd be the cheapest. You wouldn't have to go through anybody for that. So... You're bringing in creams right now? 
<laughs> I love the sound of creams. They're my favorite switch sound. So I have some 62 gram uh, springs right here. But actually, I think, no, yeah, this, switch, this should be fine. Where am I? I'll use this tray to set them in. I haven't used Cristo 129 in forever. So I'm praying it's not too thick. It's really fluffy. So on these, I just lube the rails. I know some people lube the hole. I'm not really a fan of that. I'll, I'll lube the rails on the top, uh, bottom housing, and then the top housing, I'll also lube the rails. And then I'll lube the springs and the stem. So... Any interesting upcoming group buys? Um... I want to join Modern Dolch uh, 2. I joined Modern Dolch Lite. Um, currently, I don't have the money for that. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get money in time for the group buy before it ends. But we'll see. Um, upcoming ones. Well, let me let me look at the keycap calendar real fast. Let's see. Cristo 111. Yeah, Cristo 111 is pretty good. I have used that in the past. Upcoming, we have Classic Red, Ishtar, SA Mizu, Nuclear Data, Hammerhead, Sumi, Deku, Nightshade, Shoko, R2, uh, Unit 01, and uh, EPBT 3000 Sat. Um, I think I wanna join SA Mizu. I love Mizu's colors. Sumi's really nice. Um, Nightshade's really nice. Shoko, you can't go wrong with that. Um, nuclear Data, I like it, but I only like it in SA for some odd reason. I It just did not appeal to me in GMK form. So. Oh, damn. They've popped out again. So I'm excited for those. Oh, and then in August we have Oni, Cyberspace, Iron, 808 Boom, Bento, Dolch, Round 5, uh, White Wolf, and Skyrider. Sky um, SA's not my favorite profile. No, no, no. GMK is definitely my favorite. Um, all my sets that I own currently are GMK. Uh, let me show you my other board. So I have my Bauer. I have two really special boards. Bauer's one of one for the Cerakote, or the, the powder coat colors. And then... And then I own a... It looks like just a normal Brutal 60, right? But then you flip it... Oh, well, not really normal. It's an HHKB and it's silver. And it also has a weight. Oh, I might need to clean this again. But yeah, this is a unique board. And I have, uh, what are they called? MX Creams in here. Unique switches with Honeywell on it. Getting in on, you know, I don't really like CRP too much. I mean, it, it's cool and I do like the vintage looks, but it's just not, uh, from my hearing, it's not up to par with like GMK quality. I heard there's a lot of warping issues. There's a lot of twisted issues where the caps are all wonky. It does look nice, though. So. We'll see. Maybe. I know they're doing a 2.2 2 just got delivered, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. But I'm good on it for now.
I did get an update for one of my sets that I'm running. Uh, Cat Crusader uh, spoke to a vendor and looks like we're going to be moving forward with running the set. So I'm super excited for that. More details to, to follow on that. I'm not going to really say who it's who it is or anything right now, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. CRP is always custom approved. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty standard for customs. I think I'm also going to try to do a giveaway on my stream again. It's been a while since I've done one. I have a uh, a board that I've been trying to sell on RMK and it just hasn't really been selling. So might as well just try to give it away instead. I've got an interest in it, but just nobody really wants to buy it. Might have to wait till I can get the tie house set to give over with it. It's a uh, poker V3. I was going to give it away. I seracoded it, um, a bronze color, and I have some. Uh, they're get inks with the um, what is it called stems? The UHM stems. So, and the reason why I chose cat for. Uh, Crusader is because the other two sets that also, so the, the Crusader is based off of Konosuba, which Cat Explosion is a Konosuba character, and then Cat Goddess is another one, and uh, it was only befitting to do it in Cat to keep up the theme for both uh, characters, so... I have that, and then I, I'm working on updates. I'm waiting for uh, ABEC to give me the renders for um, GMK Deathly Queen. Um, once those renders come in, I'll probably post an update, and then I'll buy the Pantone chips for it. I need to buy a Pantone book in general. Um, but I do want to move forward with that set too. I think that one's going to be pretty fire. Once people see the, the update of what it's going to look like for base kit, I think people are going to be down to buy it. It's been a while since I've lubed. I think the last switches I lubed were for the Bower, probably. No. What did it loop? Oh, for my uh, Matrix 1.2 OG. That board was good. Uh, unfortunately, I had to sell it, which I still have it. I'm actually going to drive over to the pla person's place and drop it off to them because they're also in Texas. The state might be massive, but... I'm down to drive over there because it'll be cheaper than shipping. So I have that Godspeed 75 coming in. And I said I wanted the Bauer X, but I, I am interested in some other boards. It was a TKL that I really liked, the uh, Mesa TKL. Um, I'd love to be able to build one. I'd love to buy one when they come out. I know he just got prototypes in. So it, that, that'll be a little while before that happens, but we'll see.
it's been pretty crazy here in Texas with the coronavirus and everything. I hope everybody's safe where you guys are at, wherever in the world you guys are at. I'll be going to one of the hot spots to deliver the board, but I don't plan on staying too long, so. Andromeda. Yeah, the Andromeda looks really nice. Yeah, it's a nice board. I was, you know, I was going to try to meet up with AIO3 when I was in Japan because he had just gone back, but we never really made plans to meet up. So, unfortunately, that didn't happen. I talked to him at the SoCal meetup, though. That was pretty fun. So this tray can hold 60 something switches. So. And I might as well loop these tonight. That way we can, I uh, won't have to worry about. Uh, worry about them when I'm going to build a board. So AI, AI does. So AI is from Japan. He goes to school here in the US. Um, he was going, uh, so I was just in Japan. Uh, Seamus, oh my gosh, thank you for the raid, man. Um, oh, what up, Russ? <laughs> How's it going, Russ? How's it going, guys? I'm uh, Tyson Builds. I'm another Twitch streamer. I build keyboards. Um, I just reviewed a, it's called a Dumag uh, DK6. It's a, like a weird board i can get that back out but oh my gosh thank you guys all for the follows so i got a couple boards i'll show show real fast currently i'm rocking a uh bauer this is my daily driver and then i own a brutal 60 se with both key sets are jmk um this one's jmk night runner and then this is uh, Honeywell. This is a round one Honeywell. It's super shiny. I've used it quite some time. But this Brutal 60 also has a weight. This is a super unique board. So, special to me. Oh, you guys wanna see the, the Bauer bottom? Yeah, so this is a uh, powder coat finish that sparkles. Yeah. Kind of like a galaxy. I love it. It was a clear finish. And then I was like, oh, wait, I didn't want it to be clear because it was just on the raw aluminum. So the guy put a black finish uh, and then put the, the gloss or the, the shine, the glimmer, the flakes. So, yeah, I can't wait to take this to meetups. This thing's really cool. I've had Cerakoted boards at meetups, but nothing like this. Nothing quite like this Bauer. Hey, thanks so much, man. Yeah. I love seeing so many streamers. I used to stream probably like three, four months ago, and I kind of stopped for a bit, and I haven't streamed since. So seeing this influx of keyboard streamers tonight with uh, Seamus and Epsilon, I I love seeing uh, you guys getting into it. And I also saw another dude who was looping switches too. So it's pretty crazy. So I'm looping some inks tonight just for another build i don't know when i'm going to be building it but should be coming up in the future but yeah i have a board for teha types actually when i was in i was in japan back in march i have to send to them yeah i'm looping with cristo 129 that i got from novel keys i'll show you guys the board for teha give me a second Kind of in a big box. Oh, great. Thank you for the gifted sub. So since it's going to Teha, I decided to give him a sticker with my logo. <sighs> this is like super secret looking type like box for it. So this board is called a 
Dumeng DK6. It's an ergo type board. It's super unique. No other board out there is like this. I'll show one half. Both halves are the same. <laughs> Transporting a deadly virus. Whew. It did come from China. Uh, I'm still alive. I've had, I've had this for like four months. So, so this is one half of it. It is a magnetic pad with traces and each switch is movable around the board. It, you can take it off and it has magnets underneath. Yeah. So let me plug it in. It's really wild because it also has RGBs on it too. And it has a, a audio. I don't know how to change it, but currently let me, let me pull up. Let's go back. There we go. So, oh, oh. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's clear and load. So what's real cool about this board is it uh, types like this. And then I was thinking to myself, I was like, how do I reprogram it? I was like, I'm stupid. It's not a like digital reprogram. It's a physical reprogram. You move the keys around. So I, I just took lifted up three and I'm moving four and you sit it back down and boom. So now four is in the position of three and three is in the position of four. So, oh yeah, and also the switches can come out. You can pop them out if you wanted and replace them. So it's, it's a modular hot swap board. So. I, I think this is in a, I'm shocked there hasn't been more boards out there like this. So I bought it for uh, Teha in, in Japan uh, at a shop called Yushikobo. And it's a small little uh, keyboard shop they have there. And I've been following their website and their Twitter account and saw that they were gonna be selling these. Told him about it and he was like, oh dude, totally buy me one. So. Yeah, I'm excited to see what he does on his stream. Uh, it'll look a lot better on his stream because mine, my quality is not as great. <laughs> yeah, they sell a lot of Ergo boards there. They have a, a lot of cool little features too, like little uh, nifty things you can buy. I bought, where's the towel? I bought a little towel. A little, little towel that says Yushikobo on it. So it says Yushikobo in the corner and it says keyboard. I love it. Yeah. Each casing has is re registered to a certain switch. Like this one's specifically for tilde. So you can go swapping the switches in it and moving it around the board. And this one will always be tilde. So that's what I was like confused about too, uh, kimchi. So like, it's, uh, it's really interesting the way this board is. Uh, and then it comes with a couple things. It's all type C too. And I thought there was a master and slave, but no, there's only one type C on each. So they're individual but it comes with a rubber pad to clean the golden traces to uh, remove any dirt. So I don't know if they have any more on their site. This is the only one they had in the store. So, oh, this was uh, 360,000 yen, uh, which I think is about $400 US with tax came out to about. Or about like 350, 360 maybe. So. And it comes with keycaps too. They're they're cheap little keycaps that like aren't the best in the world. But it'll do. So a little piece. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, thank you everyone for the follow earlier, guys. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things in Japan uh, for keyboard related. There's this shop and then I had a friend who uh, is also a designer of boards and he gave me a prototype of his board called the Slice. 
and it's split Alice type board. So I have that here that I need to build. I need to get some, uh, what is it? Some stabs for it. So. Yeah. The fact that this is about 360, like I'm shocked there hasn't been customs out there with this like technology in it. This one's from China though, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically a briefcase. <laughs> yeah, I have a proto slice. Yeah. I've had it for a few months uh, since I've been back, but I've just never, that's what these switches that I'm living tonight, those, these will go in the slice. So yeah, packing this up good for Teha. So when he gets it, it'll be all nice and neat. That'd be horrible to ship it to him all. <laughs> Just write jabated with the keycaps. <laughs> um, I they might have it there at the shop, but it's called a uh, Du Mang DK6. Then I, yeah, I bought this towel for myself there. Keyboard, it's a little, I think, light and diodes, or a little transistor. It's pretty cute. I realized in Japan, everybody like in restrooms and stuff, there's no paper towels to wipe your hands when you're done like dry, trying to dry them off. So everybody has to carry around their own. So like you use this to wipe your hands or whatever. Japan's super cool. Like I, I'm pro probably trying to go back next year. I just gotta save up the money for it. All the money from Ashes will be going to uh, Japan funds. So let's get back to moving these. So I like how I can hold this in between my two fingers and going for the lube. But what was I saying earlier? Man, I totally forgot. <laughs> right? Man, I, I loved it. Yeah. I Oh, you know what? I'm shocked nobody's come out with. Oh, there has been a couple people that come out with stickers. Because I know stickers are pretty cool, but like a sticker for... And, Oh, Dixie has stickers actually that have Japanese on it for like uh, happy hacking keyboards and stuff. So. I just sold a HHKB uh, the other day, speaking of happy hacking, and it, uh, it had some Nova Touch stems and everything. It was real cool. I used to own it two years ago. I actually, it was my, like originally mine. I built it, sp spray painted it purple, put Nova Touch stems in it, made it Bluetooth, added some BKE domes, and then lubed the sliders. It was, it was real wild. A lot of work done to it. And then I ended up selling it to some dude. And it just so happened two years later, he put it back up on Mech Market for a cheaper price. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna buy it back. So I bought it back and used it for a little bit. Oh, I was talking about key sets coming out. Oh, I apologize guys, yeah. Um, so I'm interested in uh, current, current ones are Modern Dolch 2, and I really, really wanted to get Explosion, but right now I can't. I think I might try to be able to put it on hold. Let's see if I can get one. Probably try to get an extra. Um, 
just so I can have all the Konosuba characters. So I'll, I'll do, I'll buy Explosion, then buy um, Goddess when that runs, and then have Crusader run after that. For all those that just joined, I, uh, my key set, uh, Cat Crusader, I just kind of announced that I have a vendor. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Seamus. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Bite size Seamus. Because I, I think that's how you spell Seamus, if I remember correctly. So. But, uh, yeah, I'm into weeb stuff. Like, I have Cat Crusader. And then I have another key set that I designed called Cat Deathly Queen, which is based off of uh, Killer Queen from uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm working on trying to get renders for that. Oh, sweet. Getting names like wrong happens all the time for me. So I just wanna make sure. Oh yeah. I love Jojo. These inks will be going in the slice prototype that I have. Um, that was kind of a gift to me for just meeting up with a friend in Japan. So I thought I'd put in some good switches for it. Although I might need to get a different plate made for it because it didn't, uh, the one that I was using at the time, it was kind of fun funky with the the way it uh was trying to hold the switches up so oh it's not cat it's a uh, gmk killer queen it's uh gmk deathly queen is what i changed the name to for copyright reasons i hope that still isn't copyrighted deathly queen Thanks, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> but I have some other stuff in the works that I want to work on. Some other designs. I got to work on trying to figure out colors for them. I do want to try to run a PBT set. I think that'd be interesting to design and see the process for that. I know there's some... Uh, PBT sets out there like either that Alex Odos has made that uh, that one he got a full proto of like 65% layout for it which is wild so I'm still iffy on PBT manufacturers though that's the only downside So yeah, I, I will also be trying to run a uh, giveaway soon, um, just for me getting back into streaming. I have a board that uh, I plan on giving away. I'll show it off in a second. Give me a moment. Let me finish this one switch. It's nothing like too fancy. So it's a Cerakoted board that I did. It's a, uh, I'll have to see about getting a set for it. Um, just a Poker V3 with inks lubed with uh, 205G0 and um, the UHM stems. And then I put in proper stabs, lubed, so there's no rattling sound. Um, I might see about putting cafe on it and then trying to give it away. So I can get cafe. So that'd be really wild. Yes, yes, Epsilon. They, that's exactly, okay, let me let me get some, hold on. Oh, you know what, no, I, uh, I have these right here. Just on a small hot swap board. Um, 
Yes. Sound-wise, I do not like the way they sound. Feel, they're amazing. They are the smoothest switches I've ever felt. But like, they just don't, they don't equate to the normal sound you would want to hear in a uh, board. They're kind of clacky. No, it doesn't, it doesn't help as much as you would think for sound. Even lube, these are lubes, like really good. I didn't over lube these either. These are my standard way that I lube switches. They just like, let's see, let's pull up my dower to compare. Let me mute my music real fast. Give me a second. Okay. So here, here's the switches. Did you hear that clap? You can hear that, like the way it hits. It does not sound like an ink. I just, and it's not, I, I know, I know this is a tray mount, but I didn't like, they don't sound good to me. Yeah, they don't sound correct. I'm moving to the next row too, that way we can, cause like on this, you can hear a complete difference. They, to me, I, I don't like the way they sound. That's also why I don't use this board. Cause I was planning to rebuild it and be like, oh yeah, I'll just use it for home or wherever for like, just for fun. Mm -mm. I do not use this board for fun. <laughs> What up, Dan? It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, I just... They sound too weird to me. Worn stems. Those stems and worn chair housings. Oh, like vent housings? Uh, yes, these are these are the these are the stems that normally go in and vent housings. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Thank you, Dan. Let me put the music back on. So yeah, these are typically. I have extras here somewhere um, that I'll probably put in a uh, another board in different housings for sure. So. They, from my understanding, they sound better in um, vent housings than they would like in ink housings. That's like from what friends have told me. But then again, from what I've also heard from other people, they just don't sound that great as you would want. Then this little thing right here, this is my... Um, Austin, Texas key crawl. This is my crawl pad. Two key, two crawl, crawl pad. Unfortunately, the uh, rotary dial does not work. I tried messing around with it in uh, QMK and I could not figure out why it wasn't working. Taser inks. Jody, what are you? Frankenstein switch built by Clever Lion and named by you. Mostly because, uh, let's see, tangy stems and gat ink housings. Slightly higher pitch than normal inks, but it has fuller sound. Hmm. Interesting. I haven't built. I think I, actually I built one board with uh, tangerine housings, the new tangerine housings and new tangerine switches entirely. And it, uh, I don't like the way it sounded. They were very loud. They also weren't lubed. 
Okay, let me set this back up there. Let's get back to finish moving these. But, I mean, these are kind of mixed switches. These are inks, but what's funny is I'm putting in red ink stems. So it's, they're just gonna be normal inks that I have with 62 gram springs. So, I need to lube the springs in a second, but I'll bag lube those. As I get down to these switches, it looks like I might only have like 40. Hmm. I thought I had all 60. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then this switch holder that I have, Loop Station, uh, was made by Electrotype or uh, Switch Peripheral, I think his name is. Is it uh, Peripheral Installer? He does acrylic stuff. He made this for me. Switch Couture, that's what it is to you. He has a couple different names. Lately, I've just been playing a lot of video games. I got back on uh, Spider-Man for PS4. I want to finish that before the PS5 comes out. And then I've been playing a lot of Persona 5 Royal and Persona 4 Golden on PC. So... Thought I'd take a break from games tonight to... Uh, loop some stuff. Do a little stream. Bifrost Alice. Sounds like a. I'm guessing that's an acrylic Alice board. If any of you guys are interested in the uh, watching more of my streams or learning more about my key sets, uh, the commands exclamation point in Discord should work. And that'll give you guys a link to my Discord. Currently, I don't have any sponsors. I used to be sponsored by Dixie Mech, but since I stopped streaming, I told them I'm good on if you wanted to just cut me. So if I get more back, back into this, I think I might look into seeing if anybody would be willing to sponsor me. Yeah, yeah, I designed Ashes, Jim K Ashes. We should be hearing back from uh, GMK about samples soon. And I'm also waiting on samples for the desk mats to be made. I can't wait to get the desk mat. Those two desk mats are really cool. I designed the second one, even though it's just a blink gray desk mat with a little logo in the corner i thought that'd be fun to make because it most desk mats are have are really busy i wanted just a minimal one with one color in the middle or one color all over I think these are 13 each, so that's 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, oof, 33 switches. Yeah, this is not 60, but yeah, yeah, I'm not running Deathly Queen until probably next year. Because I'm still waiting on a couple of things. I need, I need to get Katakana Legends. 
for a katakana kit. And then the base kit's gonna be Latin alphas, so just normal alphas. And then I need to, the friend who's supposed to be making the novelties, she's been uh, pretty busy lately. So I need to talk to her about those to get those started. But since Crusader is going to run before that, I'll probably be focused on finishing up Crusader stuff first. I'm pretty confident with a lot of the kits. Uh, I'm going to change up a couple things and add a couple more kits maybe. So... So these are done. Um, where is my, I have oils for this. I'm gonna probably do 105. I think it's GPL 105 for it. Let me, let me go get that real fast. I think it's in a drawer real quick. One second guys, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I have it in a little baggie, that way it doesn't get all over. So I have 15, 14. Oh, yeah. And 105. And I think it's about, yeah, it's about even. Because oils just get everywhere, so I have them all in a baggie. I hope I don't drench these. I'm afraid this bag is super tiny. Do I transpose? Let me try. let me put them in a bigger bag before I do this because I don't want to. They're not gonna have move, room to move if I leave them in this one. So what should I use? 105 or 1514? This is thinner. Or you know what? I'm gonna go with the thicker one actually because I think this one. It's better for springs. This oil. Okay, just that much. Yeah, I know for, for bag lubing other stuff, like yes, but I'm not gonna bag lube. This is the only thing I'm bag lubing. I think we're good. Nudge my monitor a little bit. So, oh, I need my tweezers too. I keep forgetting stuff. <laughs> Any Arabic avail? Oh, no, I don't have Arabic for us. I'm sorry.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, looks good. So I think these are 62... Uh, Grim Springs. It's the bag said. I believe someone else gave these to me. And these might actually be some Halo True Springs. We will find out when I put them together. I'm always down to try new site, like Weight Springs. So I'm not too mad if they are different. As long as they're not like 90 or 100 gram springs, I'm good. Hey, Bit MXP, how are you doing tonight, man? Wanted to do a, oh wow, I didn't realize time flies when you're streaming, I guess. Thought I'd chill out and just do a lube stream tonight. I should have more keyboard builds in the future though. So if you guys want to tune back in, a follow would be nice. I love how our community is growing on Twitch. It's pretty great. Oh yeah, thanks for the follow. I was mentioning earlier key sets so that I'm looking forward to coming out. Board wise, I really like the Mesa TKL. The uh, I want to get the Primus. That's seventy five percent. I don't know when the American group buy is gonna happen, but whenever that happens, I'm down. So that one, and then the um, Bauer seventy five. It's gonna be hot. There we go. Took a while for that spring to come out. Uh, what was it called? Um, so I'm lubing the switches are lubed with uh, Cristo 129. And then the springs are lubed with 105. GPL 105. I think is the name of this. The uh, oil. Vega. I think the Vega is the new. Um, it's a sixty percent Alps board, right? Or am I thinking of something else? It's made by, I want to say it's made by uh, uh, AIO3. 
If it is, I'm sure it'll be hot because his lunar was really hot. Yeah. The Polaris is a hot board. I'm shocked how much it's going for on mech market. Because of how many were made. I guess people are willing to pay the price. Mech market prices are getting pretty insane for key sets and keyboards entirely. I've been hearing some wild numbers for like boards like the Iron 65, 165. Alpine 65. Um, I don't think I've seen that one. I'll, I'll pull that up in a second. Give me one moment. I think we're almost done with these springs. We got like one more left. There we go. Okay, yeah, let me take a look at that real fast. There we go. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I've seen this one. That weight looks wild. I like that. Oh, I haven't seen this one. This is new to me. That little cluster in the bottom with the arrow keys is really interesting. I like that, yeah. That way it looks like it's gonna be chonky. The gasket system looks really nice too. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. I like it, yeah. When you, wait, what is the, does it say, where are the layers? Hold on. Do you have a picture of what, not layers, sorry, the uh, layouts that you can have on it? Because I'm not a fan of a 6.25U spacebar. I'm sorry. I'm 7U seven, seven or nothing. <laughs> that's that's my big thing. That's why like I didn't go for the 7V. Which I'm shocked. The 7V didn't have 7U support. <laughs> it's just full layout. Too much... Three off the layouts. Yeah. Huh? Oh, it's just one layout. Okay. So, I mean, if I were you, when when you do come out with it, just open source the plate and the uh, I wouldn't say the PCB file, but just allow. I mean, I don't know how hard it is. I've not. I've never designed a PCB, but to add just the spacing for 7u and then the bottom row maybe have that to where it'll work with that and then just put the files for the plate out there that way kind of like the bower you you didn't have the support because you wanted to just keep the plate like it will yeah and then because the bower only supports split spacebar right here but the pcb itself has full spacebar support so if you wanted to, you could change that. Bottom rows set to seven split because of this, but um, yeah, just have the option like out there for someone that would want to make a plate. So for the bower, if someone wants to make the plate, I think Dixie has the file. They can turn this back into normal backspace. Yeah. That way you're not like excluding those people out there. If people do ask and get mad about it, you can just be like, hey, the PCB has a support for it, but the plate, the file is open to the public. That way they're like kind of giving people the hint, hey, you can design the bottom row to like fix it yourself if you want. 
So let's move on to stems. See, that, like, I like the switch. Uh, what do you call it? I'm blanking on the name. Switch holder for the um, lube station. But the fact that it has holders for stems, I guess, I guess I could lube the stems and sit them here. But I've always lubed them and just put them out straight on top. Oh, lube was catching on. So. Yeah. I think Tay Keebs is in Australia. T Keeps is really cool. I, I watched some of his videos on YouTube. He's been making videos for a while now. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, no worries. But one day, yeah, I'd love to compare it to the Bauer. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, I, I'd compare stuff to my own boards here at home. Uh, Want to build stuff like that? I will be doing that in that Slice Proto, though. That one will be really cool. Side. You know what? These switches would go really well with uh, GMK Red Dragon. Because I have that smoky housing with the red stems. I'm down to build switches for whatever board I'm going to put ashes on. I want to do some Franken switches that'll work with the colors of ashes. I just got to find some like... Does anybody know if there's gray... Uh, gray tops out there like or gray stems for switches i gotta see if i can find some gray linear stems build the board with them mx locks which is probably <laughs> <laughs> What's up, not ye, MK? How's it going, man? MX lock, though. That's a different, like... I have... Do I still have my MX lock switches? Let me see if I... I might have one. Because I know I gave some, like, to a friend. I think I gave them all. I do have a couple of high rows. Actually, I think I have 12 high roses now. 
And then I have, this is a, I think 180 gram spring. <laughs> what up Gandalf? It's been a while, man. High roads are smooth. The stem sucks though. Like, look, I'll show you. It, like, it's extremely hard to get off of a switch. Or, uh... Oh, this one's actually loose. Huh. I've had some that are really, 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 really tight that you can't take off. Uh, I've been good, man. Just still looking for a job, so... Find one eventually. I also have this. So this might not look like anything like special. What top is this? This is a kill top. But this is a I I put in a 360 gram spring. And it's really heavy. And it makes any switch linear because of how heavy the spring is. Even tactile switches become linear. But it uh it's from an MX Super Black. So Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It's just for fun. I would never put that on a board and I would never build a board with those MX Super Blacks. Those would be they're just too heavy. Someone I think someone at Keycon had a board with those in them. I like super browns. Yeah, you would just make them like you put a brown stem and it would just be linear because they're so heavy that it just reduces tactility to zero. Oh my god, Rummer G into a Q. Oh. Please no. Almost done with these. I think the stems are the most time consuming part of lubing. It takes, it takes forever. Rumor G compatible. Oh my gosh, please no. I know Swishy was trying to do that optical switch uh, PCB design or create uh, get more optical switches out there. But the, the market for like optical switches are just so tiny. I don't think it's not, I don't think it's going to happen. There we go. I had a little bit more lube on it. I'm praying that these turn out good because uh, I hope the broken stems don't affect the, the way this works. Because when I put the stems back together, I felt that they went back fine, but I could be wrong. I mean, there's bright lights right in my face. Give me a second, guys. There we go. Hand wire one. I think they are rebranded Omeron. Yeah. Have any of you guys ever had lube separates? in a switch. 
So I've never experienced that. Yeah. Hall effect. Um, someone made a hall effect board a while back. Uh, I met I've met him before, like in person. I forgot what his name was. Oh, uh, Exmit. That's who it was. He, I know he worked on a hall hall effect board with Mash Drop. Um, a while ago, and that was like with bamboo and. It didn't turn out too hot. It was really scratchy. Yeah. I know he brought some to a meetup one time and I typed on them and oh, those were not, they didn't feel that well. Not good. Do you guys have any up up and coming key set key sets that have sparked your guys' interest that you might be looking at buying? I was talking to Ren Suya the other night. Uh, me and him are good friends. He's actually playing uh, Arc Survival Evolved right now. We have a server that we play on. Um, yeah, yeah, Kiwi. I was, I was there. I was in uh, Top Clack's channel mostly, just talking. I hope there's an actual KeyCon soon, so I'd be down to uh, head over there. I've been to the last last year's KeyCon in New York. That was really cool. I've traveled actually around the country for meetups. I've done Seattle, New York, Los Angeles. And that's, uh, since I live in Texas, I go to Houston and Dallas sometimes, but in Austin. So, yeah, we're going to do Texas BBQ Con. Bottom Clunk BBQ. Bento and laser R2. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I got PVT Islander too. I have that coming whenever that ships. But um, I'm really worried about how the legends are going to turn out after seeing some uh, Infinity Key sets come out already. But we will see. SA Mizu, yeah, that's a must for me. <laughs> you know, uh, I've hosted meetups in Austin, Texas, and San Antonio, and in Austin. A group of us went to go get barbecue beforehand. We always like it's a ritual. Dixie Mech will join us. He's been out to a couple of meetups uh, here in Texas. When we did the key, key crawl, he uh, we went to a barbecue place and got barbecue. He loves Texas barbecue. Oh, I think these springs are going to be heavy. We'll see. Good night, man. Thanks for joining us. Bit, but yeah, when when we had this key crawl, we made this thing. Uh, we had barbecue. Actually, let me put some together. I'm gonna put like five of these switches together and see how they feel. If these are like a hundred gram springs, I'm gonna be sad. Let's put one together. I pray.
Oh, let me put the. Uh, I have films on them. So. Oh, build is not correct. I apologize. That is from a long, a while back. Whew. Sorry about that. A little piece. <laughs> Okay. I don't have enough film for the switches tonight. I'm just living switches tonight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this sounds good. They feel pretty kind of heavy. I think these are like 70 or 80 gram springs. These aren't 62 for sure. These are pretty heavy. I think they are, um, I'll leave this one in here. Yeah, they look wild. Okay, let's keep going with the stems then. They, are, they do feel, feel pretty heavy, but they do feel nice. So that's good. I'll save these for whatever build I have coming up next. I'll have to get some more. I'll probably order like 30 more uh, inks. Open them up and try to lube them up. And I'll stream that when that happens. Since this isn't a full, full board build. Or enough for a full board. I did have some H1s that I bought. Um, that I, I bought a while back, but I uh, ended up giving those to a friend. So. From my understanding, H1s are just lubed out, or just alpacas. So. Those are pretty good switches. Almost done with the top row. And then putting on film will be next. You guys ever mix your lubes as in like use different lube for the housing and then different lube for the uh, stem? I've heard of some people doing that before.
Oh no. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I'm fine just using one loop for all of it. I think the first time I lubed inks, I used one Cristo 129. It's been a while. I usually have 205G0 that I use, but I thought tonight, let me just use Cristo 129. Since I had it on hand, it was the easiest one to use. And since Krobit's not gonna be selling lube anymore, I'm, I'm probably not gonna be buying any more Cristo uh, 205G0. to be hard, uh, harder to get the exact like type Krobit was selling, I think. Cause I know, man, I, I know different lubes or, or lubes are mixed differently for different people that sell them. I'll probably announce my uh, giveaway when I have it on my Instagram and on stream. Um, need to see if I can get myself a uh, extra or a cafe. Cause that's like the perfect board color for cafe. I need to make sure I get all the sides for the switch. What's up, JR? How's it going tonight, man? Lubing some switches on stream tonight. Just chilling. Oh, nice. Were you guys doing that in the Texas Discord, I'm guessing? Playing golf with friends?
is it 12.45? I should be finishing up this stream soon. We're about almost done. Well. Thought I'd stream again tonight, man. It's been a while since I've streamed. These switches that I'm building tonight are just inks, but with red ink stems. I reviewed a board tonight, JR, that was a uh, special, like a, a modular board that had, uh, you could place the, how do I say it? Like you place the switches anywhere along with the uh, positions of each key. Uh, and each housing had its own like RFID tag in it or whatever to let the board know, hey, I'm moving it somewhere else on the board. Yeah, the one that's a grid, yep. Oh, nice, uh, E, okay. Nathan, Nathan should be reviewing it next week or the week after. Like, I'm mailing it out to him next week, probably on Monday, so. When he gets it, I don't know how fast he'll be reviewing it. I I like it. I kind of wish I bought myself one while I was there. Like looking more into it, it's really cool. It sounded like it has an audio uh, speaker on it, along with per switch RGB. So like, I couldn't figure out how to change it. That's something he'll have to do. But it sounded really interesting. I don't know, see, and, and, and the weird part is, you don't use QMK on the board to reprogram in any sense. At least I wouldn't think you would, because you could just move the sw the keys wherever you want, and that like wherever you move it, that's it'll just it stays. That key will always stay that key. So like number three will always be the number three key, no matter where you put it on the board. Uh, so like it's physical reprogramming, not digital reprogramming. Like it's a weird, weird, weird way to do it. And if you don't want a certain key on your board, you just take it off. So. I didn't see any extras of those in there. Which I don't think they sell extras. But yeah, it was a cool thing to find at the Japanese store that he wanted, so. I hit him up beforehand. I was like, hey, if I find this, would you want to buy it? And he's like, oh, hell yeah. So. Basically, yes. Key mapping would be on hand, like hardware level. 
you move the hardware and it just remaps to wherever you sit it down at. It didn't seem like there was a way to reprogram it. There was no reset pin anywhere on it. And the cool part is, is those traces, the magnetic traces that were on it, there was a rubber, like almost like an eraser that it came with to where if it got dirty, you would just clean it by rubbing it down and it would, I guess, remove the oils and stuff with the rubber. It's real cool. Um, I just wanted to do like a brief little review on it. His will be a lot better. He gave me permission. Like I asked him tonight, I was like, hey, do you mind if I review your board on stream real fast? He's like, yeah, sure. But I wasn't gonna like swap out different parts of it or move things around. I just left everything where it was, how it arrived. Well, so yeah, but like I'm shocked nobody else has thought about trying to make it. Make something using that technology. Because like if they can do it over there, the board was 360 for this Ergo layout. If someone can make a nice case for it and just have that pad, you don't have any plate for it. You literally just have that pad sitting at the bottom, like wherever you want it. You put foam underneath, whatever. Like, it would be tray mount based, but each key would have its own housing. Yeah, it'd be, it's really weird. Kind of like sitting Legos down on a, on a plate, like a Lego keyboard almost. So, Kay, thank you for joining us tonight. It was nice talking to you. Hope you have a nice night. Thanks for tuning in and watching. As soon as I finish these, I think I'm going to probably try to see if there's anybody else to raid tonight. I know it's pretty late already. Um, see if anybody is up to raid. If not, we'll just end it. I do know, like, Anthony Uwe streams late at night, so I'll see. Maybe he might be up. So, but yeah, I'd like to see a board with that technology built in because it looked like it worked with any switch that had the, uh, any three pin switch. So you could just chop off the two legs from a five pin and it would work. And I tested and proved that it will work with other switches because I put in, um, I put in a, what is it? Holy Panda. There might be somebody up. I know in different regions, it's different times, uh, different regions of the world. Um, Seamus, the guy that rated me, I, I believe he's in Australia. Let me see. I, I, there was one dude that I saw earlier that was looping, so. Yes. Yeah, you could. Everything was hot swap, too. So. I would prefer that type of hot swap layout because everything fit in snugly. And since it's per key, it's going to sound. The sound signature is going to be really weird. On Nathan's mic, it'll, it'll sound better when he does a sound test of it. Tinker Rush, thanks for joining us. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, no, I'm on the same. I, I I know your stance on hot swap. I don't like hot swap either. 
but this one I'd be willing to, to buy. Just like I would, I wouldn't mind the hot swap. And if there was a board that had like a nice plate that I could do it hot swap, like because if that's the case, and you could sell these things individually, you'd be able to do a boardwalk layout. You'd be able to do a 40%. It would look weird because you'd see the rest of the pad, but you could do 40% if you wanted to. You can do a standard size 40% where it was kind of like wonky looking, but it was it worked like. So that, like the, the possibilities with it are endless. So I'm shocked nobody's like looked into that technology. I'm hoping when Nathan shows it, more people will see it and Maybe we'll start seeing some proto boards with it. That's the hope. Speaking of hot swap, oh, I'm pulling some switches out of my board to prep for. Oh, nice! Moving my stabs for the first time. Nice, nice, nice. I would look up a lube guide for stabs and switches. Um, I'm pretty much done with these switches. I lubed the bottom housing, the rails. Then I lubed these springs with some oil. And this is the oil. You can see how thin it is. You can see how it moves. And then I used, um, I lubed the top housing and the stems. All of the or the, the housing and the stems are being lubed with Cristo 129. Typically I'll use 205G0, the one you see right here. But. Oh, you have 129? Nice, yeah, yeah. Mm. No, I don't use 129 for stabs. I use, I did for a bit, I don't like the way they sound. Uh, I use 205G0 for stabs and switches, but tonight I just decided to use uh, Cristo 129 for these switches. Almost done with these. And then I have some films that I'll be putting on these switches too to help with the sound profile of them. The sound signature that they have. I prefer the way they sound with film on them. I have way too many stabs for this pile actually. I have four more switches. Let's put these. Actually, since I used. Let's see, can I fit all of them in here? No, there's no way. I got way too many. Yeah. Uh... Just put them in a cup. Sorry for that loud noise. Yeah, 205G0 on stabs is perfect. That's what I have on both of my boards. My power. Oh, I need to fix that. It sounds a little bit off. Not readily, but just off. And then this one I also used lube to. These are basically creams in this board. So. If you can't tell, I like linear switches. I have inks in the bower. And creams in the uh, Brutal 60. And then I'm lubing some inks right now. I told you, yeah. I told you. Because I, I, I think we, we talked about it the other night. Or it was, I forgot what night. But I used, I have dielectric grease here at home that I used to use for, use for stabs. And then I used 205 one night and was like, oh, there's a huge difference. Even on the bar, like I, I could tell there's a difference and it sounds better and it feels better.
Um, I would say try the 111 because I think it's thinner than the 129. But yeah, make sure you watch a guide because like it'll show you where to put it on correctly. Like the best place to put um, put the loop for the stab. So. Yeah. See, I, I used to love Holy Pandas too. I built some OG Holy Pandas. I had a friend sell me some. And those were real cool. So. Yeah. And if anybody needs some um, switch openers, I highly recommend the ones from Keyboss. It's a metal one, and I've had this for over a year. I've had I have this one, and I have one for Kale, because the housings on Kale are different. And I've had 3D printed ones before, and the three 3D printed ones I had all broke on me. This one has not broken, if anything. This has sometimes broken some switch housings if I push too hard down. It'll break the top housing by bending it too much. But it's really rare. Like, I've learned not to press as hard. So. Yeah, it makes it so much easier. Like, let me... Okay, so I have... Oh, that's the kale. This high rows real fast like that that easy there's the I think this one's loop too yeah I lived this one with 205 a while back less than a second yeah it's easy to take apart switches with yeah I've seen some where it's like built in on a uh, loop station or uh, like I said, the 3D printed ones are always out there too, but I I, I don't like the 3D printed ones. It's because they break easily and just, I don't know, they're not that great. The other good one to get that I've seen is the, uh, who makes it? Is it KBD fans has one that's like a key ring one? Yeah, if you have a printer, you can, but like, for me, I, I don't have a printer. So when it broke on me, I was like, well, fuck. I don't have a way to open my switches. So, Prime KB has, yeah. You can get those switch openers from him too. Uh, I forgot what the key ring ones are. I've seen a few people sell them. Forgot the name of them. So, now that we have that, let's put the... Which films on here? I'm gonna set this aside because I'm still gonna use it. I like this holder too because it lets me hold my brushes right up there. It was meant to fit these jars, but it doesn't fit these jars exactly. So. Now, switch films can be a little tricky because if you don't place them on exact, um, you can get some interference with it on the switch. Let me move my mic a little bit away. Oh, you can see my bower on that box down there. <laughs> Tanker, thanks for the follow, man.
And then these Switch films I got from TX. Keyboards. Someone was making gasket Switch films. And to be honest with you guys, I really don't think gaskets are gonna do much for the Switch film, like change the way it sounds. Cause it's either way, it's smushed in between the housings. So I, I don't think the material is going to maybe change it. Uh, I, I can't see it changing it. What it sounds. I'm sure someone's reviewing them right now. Yeah. That's right, JR. I know all your boards are use MX Xilinx, right? What's funny is I haven't I haven't built a board with MX Islands since we first did. We did like you told me about MX Islands. The thing is, is that MX Islands are cool and all, but I've tried doing silent boards and I just I can't. I there's no sound to them for when I type. Like I I couldn't. I I need I need a nice thought when I type. Sounds too weird to me not having any audio. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, I understand that reasoning. I remember you originally telling me that it was for your family. You had to be quiet when you typed. Okay, so yeah, switch filming, putting the switch the films on is a lot easier than lubing. Oh, you're in a room with the door now. Nice. So you, yeah, you don't have to worry at all. Yeah, I'm almost done with these films. Oh, nice. 5140s. Are those Brown Alps? I think we talked about this last time. Yeah. Did any of you guys get DCS, or not DCS, yeah, DCS Alps Yuri? I'm excited to see what that looks like for an Alps board. I'm sure Drop will have extras of it.
Okay. Those are all the films. Still have a little bit of extra films left. Oh yeah, sorry Tanker. Yes, they're caps. They're they're with the SA Yuri Yuri group buy, but they were a special kit that was sold that was for Alps boards. Alps is a different type of stem. This is an Alps stem right here. If you can see it, it's really unique. Um, this is what was on a lot of older boards. So yes, yeah. So that they they don't make key sets for them anymore. So this was a one off. Like hey. If this makes it, um, it makes it. But if not, oh well. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna try to pursue it. And it hit MOQ, so they are making it right now. And it's yeah, it's gonna be a, a, a based off of SA Yuri key set. So it'll be really cool. Oh, did you really? That's funny, Jr. Getting some random of keycaps from those. That means they must be producing them soon. Okay. I need to see. I think I might have more of these, the opposite, or was the red ink? Oh no, but I gotta keep making. I think I have enough for more. So, 13, 13. I have like, what, about 30, it's 26, 30, 33. So, I need to get more of these. I need to spring swap them to this. And I will put them on the slice. These switches will be used for the slice keyboard. So, yes, it is a 64 switch uh, loop station from Electrotype. Frank, that's 13. Six, 16, my bad. Not, yeah, no, no, no. I don't know why I said 13. 16. So that's 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So I have 39 switches right now. Oh, these might be 62, maybe, I don't know. They feel heavy, so. Uh, how big is it? This, yeah, it's about, it's really long. So it's TKL is probably about like this big. This is a little bit bigger. This might be like full size length. But yeah, it only does about 64 switches. I don't know if Electrotype still makes them, uh, if Switch Couture still makes them. I do know Space Cables makes them. Shout out to him, Space Cables. He, he's a cool dude. Been up to his place a little bit. Once, uh, I need to go back to work on some things. I have, did I move it? Oh, I did. I have some um, Cerakoted Limo connectors for him. that I'm gonna see if I can get made.
Oh, the height with width and height of this, I'm not too sure. I have to measure it. I don't have a way to measure it right now. Oh, it'd be cool as if they did have like you put a ruler on the side of this. That'd be pretty cool. What's funny is I might just leave these switches in the loop station. That way I don't forget. Because <laughs> if I throw them in a bag somewhere, they're just going to get lost forever. Actually, I'm just going to loop them one by one. Just connect them. A lot of people don't lose the top housing. But preference wise, I like the sound when you lose the top housing. This is just like my. What I like. Thanks, JR SVT. Oh, there's two JRs in here now. Oh. It actually matches nicely with Nightrunner. Nightrunner is also kind of like that same neon yellow color. And I love this key set. It's one of my favorite key sets. The colors came out exact, like ultra accurate. So I have that just sitting down there right now. It's not on the ground, it's on a box. So just to move that out of the way. I think extras are still gonna go up for Nightrunner. I don't know when, but I'm hoping to get an extra of the desk mat. Yeah. The color matching on it's like I was talking to somebody about that and they were like, man, the color matching was at, like ultra accurate to the renders. Did a good job. And not yet, not yet. Oh. Yeah, the fabric sample came out perfect for a plastic color. I'm worried because my set, um, Deathly Queen, uses like six different Pantone colors. So, could be a problem. Yeah, color matching is going to be really be a bitch well honestly maybe because what i plan on doing is i'm using nebulant i don't know if you heard of this jr but nebulant uh is a i don't know he has a, like a color spectrometer or something something around that name i i don't know the real name and it um reads the values of the colors on plastic or paper so i think he has a RAL book over there if not i will send him mine but i'm planning on getting him to get the samples the the, the color samples of uh, ashes and have him uh no it's not a colorometer like like you would think it's something else i forgot what he called it um and it reads the individual values of the red blue and green in a like a color to like a 99.99% uh, accurate like rating and he's going to uh in in RAL or G GMK 
uh, can try to match the colors more accurate with it. So I'm gonna get him to do that. Yes. Yes. Yep. He uh, he did it for Bingsu, and I talked to him the other night, and he was like, "Yeah." He's like, "If the the raw colors are the same for Ashes as they were like when you post or first posted them, he's like, I might have the colors on hand." He said he'd be willing to to take a look at them for the color samples for Ashes. So. So the difference between sound sound difference between a snap in and a screw in stab. Yes, there are snap ins. Uh, from my understanding, snap ins have rattle. That's why snap ins. I believe, I believe the band aid mod worked best on them. I'm not 100 percent sure, like on that, but um, I want to say the band aid mod helps the bottom out sound whenever the, the plastic itself would hit the bottom uh screw ins they're screwed into the board you can't lift them out and like you can't they they sound the only thing you have to worry about for sound wise would be the bar moving because then if you loop the plastics correctly you're fine Let's start getting some of these on. Now that I have these, should be able to do the whole top row. Yeah, yeah. Stock colors, you don't have to color match. I think GMK just puts it in its production queue. Yeah, I really like the way they sound. I know, yeah, Abex been taking forever on those renders too. I'm in no rush though. I don't have the money to pay him right now, so. I'm still waiting on unemployment to come in, man. I'm like really nervous. So. I looked up on uh, first let me move off. Um, Reddit uh, about unemployment, and it sounds like some other people are having this exact issue, like a, a lot of people on the for Texas. So I thought, well, I'm unemployed. Let me at least do some Twitch streams. I think I might even have to put this as like I'm working if I get paid, since I got two. 
two subs that might count as like five dollars for me Yeah, unfortunately, I've been un unemployed for going on six weeks next week. It sucks. I've been applying to jobs and I have not found, like, nobody's contacted me. I, I just think that, like, nobody's hiring right now, unfortunately. Yeah. This whole year is foobar, unfortunately. Like I've, I've applied to some assistance programs too. There was one for like the city of San Antonio is willing to help pay, uh, pay rent for some people that are unemployed. Like, and it was like, I was like, Oh sweet. Let me, let me apply for that. See if they can help for like a month. Uh, just in case unemployment doesn't come in. Uh, I applied and then it goes, we'll get back to you in 30 days about this. It's like, what the fuck? That's like the whole month. <laughs> How is that supposed to help this month? Like, it sucks. But I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to get that unemployment soon. Oh man, I'm sorry, Tinker. Almost done with these. I'm shocked 18 of you guys are still here. Thank you guys for all staying. Next time I'll stream earlier. This is just kind of like a, uh, let me test the water to see if I can stream tonight. Childcare paid by the state because it was bus for essential workers. It's only three. For three months, and my kids aren't even in daycare because it's been <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Streaming went a lot better than I thought it would tonight. I didn't expect to have this many people watching, so it's always fun. Didn't expect to get rated.
Okay. Almost done with this, man. Yeah, I have to live these top thousands or else it sounds weird to me. Switches are just too loud on the return. Well, JR, it's actually midnight over here. Happy Father's Day, man. <laughs> I still gotta get my dad a card. I think I can find one at Target tomorrow. So. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That sounds awesome. I think my dad's making steak at home tomorrow, so that'll be a good meal for me. I'm excited. He's been pushing me to join the military. <laughs> Since I've been out of work, he's like, you should join the military. Oh, damn. Yeah, no, I'm not joining the military. Nice. Uh, yeah, I saw that you said you were in the Navy. I was thinking about trying to do Air Force. Like, I've been thinking about trying to go in, but... I don't know. The only place I want to be stationed would be Japan. <laughs> uh, I, I don't see the chances of that happening or I think slim to none. Unless I just know the language. Yeah. Korea? Busan, yeah. Not yeah, I had a cousin that was in uh uh stationed in uh well he was stationed all over the place, but he was in the navy. He was naval intelligence. He was always on a submarine going places he couldn't tell us until after. So that was pretty dope. Oh, nice. Yeah, my cousin, um, there was one time he called the family and we were like, what, what's going on? And come to find out, he was on a submarine in Japan that had crashed into a tanker and they rescued everybody on board of, uh, I believe, the submarine in the tanker. And he was calling to tell us he was safe in Japan. And we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, we didn't even think he was anywhere near out there, but turns out he was. So... There'd be times where he was like in Germany or Greece. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That one doesn't fit. Okay, so I finished all these. Let's put them on. So we're just gonna call these red dragon switches. Like Rensu, you're proud. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah.
See, I think the switch has... Maybe. They, these two sound different. I think these two are hitting the uh, switch film. Could be wrong. I'll set these to the side. I'll just keep working on this. Oh, see that one's just this the switch doesn't even go down. So rip it apart again. Turns out the uh, the leaf was fucked up on it. Yeah, these two are scratchy. Okay, let's continue. Scratchy too. Thanks, man. It was nice talking to you in here. Good night. I'm almost done with these. I'm gonna be hopping over to someone else in a second and in my stream. It is pretty late in the night. Oh, look at that. I had one extra housing. So I got three to fix, but I'll fix these off stream. They're just easy. Thank you guys for watching me lube. Um, I know lubing's boring, but I tried being having the commentary for it. So let's see who is streaming tonight. Is anybody still on? So I learned there's uh, people and makers in crafting. Let's see. Is anybody doing any keyboards right now? Community project. I did see someone earlier that was working on a keyboard on here. That was kind of low, didn't have a lot of viewers. Um, where did they go? Oh, did they finish looping? Oh, I think they turned it off. Yeah, I think everybody's pretty much done. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I think I'm just going to end the stream tonight. Hope you guys have a nice night. I will be back um, probably sometime next week. I'll see what I can do with the slice or what else we can do. Maybe desolder a board or two. Work on some things. Thanks, guys. Talk to you guys in the next one.